End of battle phase. Activate evenly matched. Activate evenly matched. Dragon negate. I guess you got it. Yeah, it happens sometimes. Hey, wait, wait, wait a minute. Can I see your graveyard? Why, what's wrong? Oh, you couldn't have negated that. Oh, I totally would have won. Sure, but it's too late. You uh, signed the match slip. Hey guys, it's Tom Box. Welcome to MCD.TV, and we're jumping back into rulings for this one video. I know that there isn't a lot of rulings going on because most of the tournaments have been online and uh, there's been less frustration for most players because a lot of the more casual players, of course, they jump onto playing automated simulators versus the other people who are a bit more competitive and trying to join these online tournaments, which require you to use a manual simulator. I'm not gonna name which one's which, but anyways, there are misplays happening. So for this video, we're gonna talk about the common misplay of the week. And we're also gonna be answering some of the questions you guys have been throwing at me on Discord. And also we're gonna go into something you're gonna get educated on about monster effect negation. There's a scenario which Dark Ruler No More does not negate the entire field. That's right, a scenario like that does actually exist where Dark Ruler No More isn't all powerful. And we're gonna dive deep into that ruling, but before I get any further, I wanna give a shout out to Mr. Prince Ace 4 Check out his deviant art because if you guys don't want a pleb looking EDO Pro, you wanna amp up your experience, you want the power of obelisk in your hand, well, there is Prince Ace 4 He designs skins for EDO Pro or YGO Pro. It looks amazing. You guys should definitely check it out. Check it, I have some samples right here. You guys can see it right now. He does beautiful 3D renders and renders them out and create a theme for you guys. The one that you guys are seeing on screen right now is this recent obelisk theme. He has a lot more that you guys can also check out. Just check it out down in the Deviant Art link in the description. Really cool stuff, amazing stuff, and he's a very talented individual. Anyways, let's get into the rulings. Okay, misplay of the week here. I know it's more or less a legal play, but just run with the terminology for now. It is Adam Anzipater, Ryzen Dragon. Earlier in the sketch, someone's activated the evenly match versus Adam Anzipater, Ryzen Dragon. And what happened? Well, he scooped, signed the slip, and called it a GG good day. But only to realize that, hey, that card can't actually negate. This is another case of not reading your card syndrome. So, because whenever that occurs, we read the card for you guys so that you guys have to catch it so that you guys don't scoop before you need to. And uh, if you think a situation is too good to be true, at least check it out before you kind of dismiss it. So, into the card text, it states that uh, on the last couple of lines of Adam Emancipator Rise and Dragite, it states when your opponent activates a spell slash trap card or effect, uh, which is a spell trap card or spell trap effect, while a water monster is in their, your graveyard, quick effect, and then you can negate the activation, and if you do destroy it, you can only use each effect of Adam Emancipator Rise and Dragite once per turn. Okay, so to break this down, this misplay, of course, stems from uh, GoGo at Emancipator players because most of their entire deck is running an Earth-based diet. They're being rather healthy for the Block Dragon so that they cut out most of the water in the deck, and therefore the only water that they're relying on is Christian Hakuvabrax, and if that gets ripped out of the deck, say a dinosaur player ripped it out with Trukin Lithosagem, it gets DD Crowed, or use its own effect later, like early on in the turn, just to banish it to summon out a tuner thing, which some people play in their build as a spice, but that spice will cost them the negation from their Dragite, and uh, they're not supposed to negate. So what we learned here is that if you're gonna be playing against a go-go, or a Google build based Adam Emancipator player, then check their graveyard whenever they use a Dragon Negation because that negation could be stopping stuff like your evenly match. That could have went through. If you, that went through, you probably would have won the game, right? Another card that you could have went through uh, would probably be like a Lightning Storm. Just something really important. Like one of your search spells that you really needed or your field spell, your Mystic Mind anything like that, they could have went through and perhaps won you the game in that tournament. And you don't wanna be dropping matches because you didn't check a graveyard properly and you didn't read the card properly. So that's my you know, gift to you guys. Make sure you guys read your opponent's graveyards, especially with Gogo and Emancipators and Dragite plays. And time for some of the questions that you guys have been sending me and uh, let's get them out of the way. And this was in, in the comment a few times now. Uh, what happens when you send Future Fusion to the grave by using Verte Anaconda? Ooh. First of all, nothing happens because you can't send the card to the graveyard. Verte Anaconda's effect states, 
You can pay 2,000 life points and send one fusion or polymerization, normal or quick play spell from your deck to the graveyard. This effect becomes a spell's effect when that card is activated. Also, you cannot special monsters for the rest of this turn. Okay, so with that being said, you can't send future fusion. It doesn't say that you can send continuous field spells or equip spells uh, with a fusion name. It has to be normal or quick play. That's it. That's all I really have to say about that one. And stop putting that in the comments, guys. <laughs> okay, next question. Can an IP Masquerina alone on the field activate her effect to link summon into another monster? Say a Kotaker monster if I'm holding a Code Radiator or Microcoder? And the answer is yes. You can apply the effect of Microcoder or the effect of the Code Radiator to that IP Masquerina so you don't really have to control that monster to perhaps perform that Link Summon. And on, on top of that, even if uh, the IP Masquerina is alone on the field, you can still technically activate her effect to go into a Security Guard now because you would have met the condition. The key point here is IP Masquerina would activate and still result in something else coming out rather than fizzle and do nothing. If it's not going to do anything, then you can't activate it. That's fair. And on top of that, if you want to really go into the spiciness of this, you can activate IP Masquerina while you have the Security Guard Knight in the uh, extra deck, but then you chain something that generates tokens on your side of the field, and then you take those tokens with the IP Masquerina and make something else, which gives you an emptier board and you get to be a little bit more flexible. I don't know, maybe Orcus can kind of manipulate a strategy like that where they have a security guard knight in their uh, extra deck, they activate it and then they change some of their Orcus cards uh, in the graveyard so they generate a new monster and then when they just can manipulate the chain link even further. So yeah, that could get a little bit spicy. Anyways, that answers that one. And if you guys got more ruling questions, you guys can go ahead and join the Discord. There's a ruling tournament ruling section in there that you guys can ask the ruling experts there or check out the ruling zone Discord as well. And if you've got more questions, leave it down in the comment section below. And we're going to move into the interesting scenario of where the case of the Dark Ruler No More that doesn't successfully negate everything on the field. And this is actually going to be a lot to do with effect negation. So this one's more of a broader topic. Here's the scenario. I have an Abyss Dweller that is summoned up from the extra deck and the Necros of Unicorn. And that Necros of Unicorn is currently negating the effect of my Abyss Dweller. Pass turn to you, you activate Dark Ruler no more, hoping to turn off both. You want access to your extra deck and you want access to your graveyard. And the Dark Ruler no more, I have no response, it resolves. And then after the resolution, I decide to go ahead and activate Abyss Dweller. And here's the part where you start arguing like, oh, your effect's negated anyway. So what's the point? I'll be like, oh, it's not negated at all. Because you can't negate a monster that already has its effect negated. What was negating my card? It was my own unicorn. The moment you turned it off, the Abyss Dweller turned back on because you can't apply Dark Ruler no more onto a monster that's already negated. Then to bring back some of the past precedents here, uh, there's Effect Veiler versus Skill Drain, which was a pretty effective measure to dodge say, said Effect Veiler. If I summoned out a Rescue Rabbit or a Lone Fire Blossom, I don't want that effect to get negated by Effect Veiler because uh, once it's negated, it's basically stuck on my monster. And when I activate the effect while it's still on the field, it's still negated. Whereas Skill Drain only has the ability to negate while the monster is still face up on the field. But here's the thing, when a monster is already negated, you cannot apply another negation on top of that. And that's where this whole ruling stems from. And if you guys want a more recent example, it's actually Sky Striker's Widow Anchor Battles. When one player activates Widow Anchor against the other player, and then the other player changes their own Widow Anchor targeting the same monster, it's to prevent them from taking the monster because you cannot apply the negation again. Remember, the conjunctions require that you have to negate the monster to actually take it. So because the monster's effect was already negated, you cannot apply the negation again, therefore you can't take the monster. That would be the Widow Anchor battle. And if you want another example, we have Impermanence. Imperm onto another Imperm because the Imperm column uh, gets well, anything that activates in that same column where uh, the impermanence resolve basically gets negated. If you have two impermanence and you only have one monster and you chain them both onto the same monster, uh, what happens is that the chain link two or the one that, that is in a higher chain link 
will resolve and that column will be stunned out. But the one that is in chain link one, because it cannot negate that monster, that column is not stunned out either. So in other words, that's basically a free column. You wasted an impermanence. What a waste. But yeah, that's kind of the rundown here. So the moment you turned off the Necros of Unicorn, it basically did a little switcheroo. And with that switcheroo, you turned on the Abyss Dweller. So at the moment of resolution, you could not apply the effect of Dark Ruler onto, uh, say, the Abyss Dweller because it, 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 was, it was already negated at the time. So the only thing that could be applied to would be the Necros and Unicorn. And that's the one of the weirder ways that you can use uh, <laughs> Necros and Unicorn to dodge uh, the Dark Ruler no more. But on top of that, you can even use Skill Drain to actually dodge it. As long as you're not like relying on, say, like counters or you're relying on I guess Borlo Savage, I'm sorry, you, you don't really work anymore because you, you basically just lose out on every part of your effect. If you actually can remove the skill drain, uh, then you can actually reactivate all your monsters again. So that's like, I guess like a spicy way to play around Dark Ruler while having like awkward cards. But yeah, that's the rundown on effect negation because you cannot apply double, of, double effect negation on something. That's why you can actually get a case where Dark Ruler no more gets well doesn't completely negate the entire field all right sounds like a long story maybe you guys will find some spicy way to kind of use this scenario i know it's a very specific case but hey that's it for this video guys and thanks for sending in your ruling questions here that's why sometimes i feature it uh and uh if you guys enjoyed this video hit that thumbs up button if you guys want to see more stuff from msd.tv hit that subscribe ding notification bell i've got my uh mat that i'm still working on. hopefully i get to finish it maybe within the week or two, maybe. And uh, until next time, I'll see you guys in the next one. Hopefully I can get some live duels out there. Uh, there's some pretty interesting stuff coming up, I think in two weeks. In two weeks, you'll see something really awesome.